So um, I want to welcome everybody to the Excellence in Coaching uh, webinar series. This is, uh, we've been doing this for a few weeks now and we've got uh, probably half a dozen or so in the library. So definitely go to that website. There's other things that you might be able to view and see. My name is Charles Owen. Uh, my role at Paladin is uh, I'm the Business Alliances Manager here. So I manage the relationships with our um, fellow uh, suppliers, wholesalers, other computer system vendors, and just other businesses in general. And I've been with Talon about seven years. Topic today is RX enhancements that you'll want to see. And the description is it's just a 30 minute presentation that's going to be covering recent uh, Palin and point of sale features that have been built specifically for pharmacy. We're going to be covering some of the Mobile 2 products that we've uh, introduced as of late that are now ready for prime time. And then we're going to uh, be looking at other features that you may or may not be using currently that might be able to give you a little advantage and edge up on the uh, using Paladin in your pharmacy. So the goal really is for you to get a better understanding of what features are available in pharmacies so you can uh, increase your efficiencies. Um, return on investment and uh, you know save time as well as make hopefully make a little bit different uh, well actually mainly for uh, maintaining compliances so you can better protect yourself and reduce your risks and liabilities and at the same time in improve patient care okay so I'm being I'm being assisted by Chad Klein who is uh, going to be viewing everybody's questions you're welcome to type in questions. Chad will be responding to those questions online. Everybody's in listen-only mode at this point, and at the end, if we have questions, we can open it up and unlock that and give everybody the capability to um, ask questions. Uh, I am recording this presentation. You can see it later, as I mentioned earlier, at paladinpointofsale.com slash webinars. And also, a copy of this presentation will be available as well. So let's go ahead and get started on the presentation. I, I set this one at a technical level of intermediate and it's not that it's technical, it's just that you need some basic knowledge and understanding of the Paladin system and some of the setup requirements uh, to, to get in and, and activate some of, these, some of these features. So we'll start with slide one. So the first thing I want to talk about is we now have a method of capturing a signature that's untethered. <coughs> Pardon me. So we have, uh, more than likely, your pharmacy has a Topaz signature capture pad. It's either Bluetooth or it's hooked up through a cord. Uh, this is another method in which you can use another device. So if you're passing, if you need to go outside the window, you have a pharmacy window or, uh, you know, so it's great for drive up. Also, uh, if you have handicap access where you might need to, the customer can't quite get up to the counter you can pass the pad down. This also, uh, this device also enables you to actually see their invoice as it's being rung, rung up. So not only can they sign for it at the end, but they can also see the information as it's being rung up on the actual terminal. All HIPAA and consult and other messages as well will appear on this device. Uh, this is available today. I'll show you how to do the setup here in a moment. Let's go into the second feature, which is uh, also part of the mobile to recent applications that we pushed out, and that is the mobile to show. The mobile to show is identical to the mobile mobile to SIG. Uh, the only difference is on this one, you don't sign. It's just there to be a display option. So currently, you might have a poll display where you have one line of information as you scan items appear on that screen. This enables you to have the full entire invoice for the customer to follow on and it can be placed on a secure stand behind the terminal where the cashier is. So it enables the customers to see what's happening and it's all real time. So if, uh, if a price changes or an item gets removed, it's all shown there on the screen on that little pad. Both the mobile to SIG and mobile to show products are uh, included with the uh, monthly in that you pay for your uh, license and subscription fees. All right. The next, uh, I, I'll show you. Here's where we're uh, demonstrating how to set this up. So if you go under 
uh, if you go under the uh, Paladin, well, actually, it's under File Setup, uh, the Network tab, and that's where you will enable Mobile to SIG. But it really, this is something that the customer service folks have to set up. So you are required to submit a case. So go ahead and submit it and open a case. You can do that either within Paladin or call us up. And we will and can enable the either mobile to SIG or mobile to show options. And then all you need is a Wi-Fi tablet. You know, Wi-Fi or, or G4 or, or LTE or whatever type of internet connection. It can be any brand. It could be a, 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 an Apple iPad or it can be a Google Droid. It really doesn't matter. Uh, this is available on any, any type of uh, tablet or uh, smart device that can bring up a, uh, a browser, if you will. All right, that's how it's set up. The next um, feature is uh, the mobile, right in the mobile to uh, products, or the mobile to deliver. This, is, uh, this enables you to set up deliveries and collect information while you're, while you're doing the deliveries. So if you currently are taking a, a receipt or a delivery, um, tag and stapling it to the bag and giving that to your driver. That's one way to accomplish it. Uh, this is another way. This enables the driver to actually go to the site and collect a signature at the site, take a photograph of where they're leaving the medications. It also enables you to attach a note as well. And once the customer signs for that, they'll just sign with their finger directly on the pad, it automatically is updated in the Paladin system back in your store in real time at that very moment. So along with the mobile to deliver product comes the mobile or comes the delivery scheduler and that's uh, within the invoicing section of the Paladin uh, system. So under the invoice module there is a method in which you can create deliveries, maintain deliveries and also view and manage those deliveries uh, in the delivery scheduling component. All right, so as, as far as the uh, delivery package or delivery um, mobile device, you'll have to get a device that, again, has Wi-Fi and or G4. In this case, it probably will need a Verizon or an AT&T or some sort of uh, phone connection because it will be hooked up to the system in real time through a, through a cloud. The uh, delivery and the SIG and the show are all included with your subscription. Now, this is a sneak peek of the uh, future product that we're coming out with, which is Mobile 2 Checkout. This product enables you to take the entire point of sale checkout and put it in the palm of your hand. It actually will enable you to uh, research and look up customers, look up items, be able to scan or type in uh, part numbers. Or, or, or um, you know, identifiers, and it, it enables you to do a checkout from anywhere in the world. It's connected up through the cloud services that we provide to your on-premise Paladin system in your store, and uh, you'll be able to take credit cards, apply to accounts, store the invoice for processing at a later date, and this is a really, really cool product. And for all intents and purposes, it's another point of sale checkout station that is mobile. It could be taken out to the parking lot. It could be taken, you know, if you want to take it to the flea market and, uh, you know, sell product there, you can do it as well. And then everything is processed on your point of sale system, and it's using this device to communicate with that on-premise system. So because it is an entirely different checkout station and new checkout station, there will be a, uh, a monthly fee that's associated with this. Once we roll that out, we'll uh, determine what that, what that fee will be, but it will be a, another checkout station right in the palm of your hand. And In the top of that, you can actually have an encrypted swipe as well to do credit cards. So a neat, neat product. All right, the next item we uh, have put out recently is a um, prescription name validation, uh, you know, pop-up box, if you will. And what this is, 
in. This is only a function that's provided with pharmacy integration. So if you're integrated with a pharmacy system, whether it be PK, SweetRx, um, um, SpeedScripts, uh, CarePoint, or some of the other ones that we're integrated with, at the time that you scan the item, the first prescription, what will happen is it brings down the customer information. Well, if you scan another prescription item that doesn't match that same name, you can set it up where there's a pop-up box kind of interrupts the cashier to say, hey, you know, this may or may not be the right product. So at that point, you can either accept or reject that. And it, it will help really clear up some of those uh, medications that maybe get dispensed to the wrong patients. But more than likely, it's going to be used with family checkout. And uh, if you scan mom's prescription, then you scan dad's, then you scan the kids, you know, any one of those, that box will pop up if you set this um, to be activated, warning you that it's going to be assigned to another customer or patient. All right, that activation is set up in the uh, setup pharmacy tab. And that can be done by you and turned on or turned off at any time. The next product or the next feature has to do, again, this also is offered with pharmacy system integration. And it's not on every pharmacy system. It has to be actually written to by the pharmacy vendor. And we, are, uh, we enabled for the integration of our product with the pharmacy system for the transferring of patient data, transferring of invoices and prescriptions and uh, anything that basically is done at point of sale gets, can be sent back to the pharmacy system. Well, we've enhanced that and we've added to that where you can do accounts receivable. So if you prefer the accounts receivable system in your Rx system, you can give full authority to your pharmacy system to manage the accounts receivables. All right, this is a new method that we added to the system probably a year or so ago. And most of the new Rx systems that we're integrated with do provide this uh, for this functionality. Uh, and if they don't today, they certainly can in the future. But it's a setup where you can go into the uh, setup tab under the pharmacy and you can elect to um, transfer all the responsibility accounts receivable to the to the pharmacy system. Now, Paladin, as you know, also does full accounts receivable as well. So you'll have to make a decision as to whether you want that process maintained and managed up front with your point of sale or if you want to do it in the back office. There are some advantages to doing it in the back office. Those insurance adjudications that you uh, maintain on there uh, can be uh, added to the AR or accounts receivable that you process uh, on your pharmacy system as well. And uh, so there are some distinct advantages. Another thing that this feature provides for is it also does a, does a check. So a point of sale when we scan the product, if accounts receivable has been activated to be processed on the pharmacy system, then it will also and can also check for uh, to make sure that there's enough credit balance to handle that particular invoice. So we'll do a quick check and it will use that credit balance as you know how much credit they have remaining in their accounts receivable. And uh, at point of sale, if it's all if all the money can if there's enough money to handle that transaction, great. If there's not, what'll happen is uh, is it will only enable you to uh, bill that patient for the amount that's available in the Rx system. And the balance would have to be paid for by another uh, form of payment. Okay, so uh, things like return on on account or received on accounts, so payments on accounts as well as returns and credits are all sent back to the pharmacy system that's maintained uh, for you to run those transactions through the accounts receivable in the pharmacy system. So if you didn't know about this and if your pharmacy system supports this, this is an option for you. Uh, great if you prefer doing accounts receivable on the pharmacy or on the Paladin system at the front end, that's great too, whatever you decide to do. The next feature, 
has to do with, uh, now there's been a lot of excitement around this one because NPLEX integration, this is the you know national precursor log exchange for pseudofedrin sales. Not every state requires this. Some states it's a prescription, like in our state. Um, but in several other states, you're required to gather information that you're selling, uh, who you're selling pseudofedrin to. And what we enable is we enable integration with this, uh, with this uh, exchange that maintains a history of sales and purchases for each individual customer. So you can limit the sales to whatever the federal or state standards are um, according to, to NPLEX. And it's done automatically through the Paladin system and it directly communicates with NPLEX on the fly. Now that's really cool and this is a nice feature and it has been particularly uh, wonderful, but there was just one one downfall with this is you had to hand key everything in. Well, starting a few months ago, we completed the uh, driver's license scan. So you can actually, you don't have to type in the information. You don't have to read the license and key in the information anymore. You can just um, scan the back of the driver's license and it populates all the fields with that information. So a big time saver if you support NPLEX and your state is required to uh, participate in that um, pseudofedrin purchases, uh, you'll definitely want to participate with this, the scanning. And that can only be accomplished by purchasing the 2D scanner. So we have the 2D scanner available. I actually think it's on special this month. So that is something that you'll definitely uh, want to, to purchase and activate. And that can be activated by, again, just log in a case and say that you want the new 2D scanner and you want the auto populate to, to happen. All right, so that can be done. Now, if you go to the Paladin web store, you can actually purchase it directly on this, you know, within our shopping cart and have it applied to your account um, pretty easily. Just go into paladinpos.com, click on store in the top right hand corner, and at that point you can uh, log in with your login credentials. You'll have your name and password. It should be the same as your name and password for the customer service portal. And at that point, you'll see specialized pricing that'll come up just for you, our customers, which doesn't come up if you're not logged in. So be cognizant of that. And uh, you can make the purchase right there. Then just submit a case to customer service and they can set you up for auto populate. Okay. The next feature that we added also is included with pharmacy, pharmacy system integration, and that is where you can identify controlled substances. So if the pharmacy system can enable a feature where it puts a character, a letter, in front of the prescription number, that will trigger our system to prompt for, again, more information like ID, ID type, name, phone number, address, state and so on. Now currently this information does have to be hand keyed in, but it is maintained in the system. Uh, we do have in development, same as NPLEX, we will have anywhere where a screen pops up for your ID, uh, it will enable you to be able to scan with that 2D scanner and automatically populate those fields. It's not in the system today, but we are putting that into the system in a future release. It will enable you to print controlled substance audit reports by managing this. It will comply with a lot of the state requirements and regulations out there where you need to collect and maintain this information for every controlled substance. Okay, so that is a feature that we've added recently. You may or may not know about this, uh, but it can definitely help you maintain compliances. The next one, I, I kind of like this one, and this one not everybody knows about this, but you can actually hide the patient name and Rx number from the receipts. So right now, if you haven't set this up, you're probably getting uh, on, on sales, you're going to have your prescription uh, that's you know on a line with the prescription number as well as the patient name and the patient address, and then they're also going to have their signature down below on that receipt. Now, uh, to, to maintain PHI, you know, private, you know, for the Privacy Act, you may want to obfuscate that information, and you can do that by 
going in and setting this up under File Setups and Forms tab so you can turn off either the patient address information and or the patient name and address information and completely hide it from that actual receipt. In addition, you can also truncate the prescription number so it only uh, just to the last four characters. So under File Setup Pharmacy tab, you can activate this to where it truncates that. Now you have the capability and the power and the permissions to do this on your own. So if this is something that you want to do for uh, enhanced protected health information screening and compliancy, you can do that as of today. So just go in and, and, uh, and set those checkboxes up and, and you'll be ready to go. The next feature that we have in the system, not everybody's going to benefit from this, but if you have specific compounding um, items that you manufacture that are OTC and you want to hide the, com the actual ingredients from the customer, but you still want to maintain inventory control over those bulk items, you can do that in Paladin by enabling the kit functionality or the, the kit feature. So the kit enables you to do several things. Number one, you can create a single um, kit trigger with a single uh, short code, if you will, or cheat code. And it can populate an invoice with as many items as you want. So if you wanted to make a kit that's, you know, it's a, let's say it's a flu season kit, all right, just to use an example. And you've got cough medicine in there and you've got you know, pain meds and you've got, you know, rubbing compounds, whatever it might be, you can enable that in the kit to be a standard kit and all you do is type in one code and it populates all those items at one quick draw and puts all those items into the invoice. So it can speed up that process. At the same time, it deducts from inventory the proper amounts and it charges the proper fees. Now, if you wish to have something where you hide that, the contents of that, you can do that as well. And to do that, all you do is enable the hiding of the kit components. And you just set those up as a zero amount when you build the kit. And you click on hide items. And once you do that, then uh, and you can do all this in the, it, this must be enabled in the setup tab. So you go under file setup company tab and you'll see enable kit functionality. You have access to this information to turn this on and off. You'll, before you do that, you'll have to create a class, a kit class, a specific class number. I just created one here. An example shows 121212 as a class number. So first, create a class. Second, go and enable the kit functionality. Put the class number in. Then when you create a kit trigger, you must identify that item with class whatever number you came up with. In my case, 121212. And if you further want to add subcomponents to that kit that you do not wish to show on the receipt, you can click on Enable Hiding of Kit Components, which is right there in that same setup tab under, or company tab under Setup, uh, which is right adjacent to the invoice uh, section, as you can see off to the left-hand side of that screen I'm showing you. All right, but the proper amount will be decremented from inventory even though they can't see it on the, on the uh, actual receipt. Um, now, now margins, there is a way to enable margins so they won't be skewed, but margins for items that you're, you're essentially giving away as part of that kit, the item itself will have a reduced margin because you will show it as giving it away, but you'll make up for it by, um, by setting the department to be 100% um, reference margin. All of this information that I'm spewing right now at you is uh, actually included in our knowledge base. So if you go to the kit feature within our knowledge base area, which can be found under the help tab in our palette and application, you'll see a, uh, how to set this up. And there's m three or four different ways to set up the kit, so all the information is maintained there. Okay. Uh, one of the other features that we have in the system is the Sigis Auto Download. Now, it was before where you had to go in and actually subscribe to Sigis, 
download the file, and then upload it through an EDI feature or function in Paladin. No longer is that required. All of you should be on SIGIS Auto Download today if you're 100% SIGIS certified and compliant. So um, this should already be set up in your system. If it isn't, you risk actually being um, you risk being uh, you know kicked out of the SIGIS um, world and, and and lose your membership. So it is required to maintain SIGIS. Uh, status of 100%, you do have to download this file. Now, all this is just a one-time setup, but Citrus will is required to set you up with a login, a password, a name, and your credentials basically. And those credentials have to be put in Paladin one time. Customer service can help you through this process if you want to do this. If you're not set up for Citrus, Citrus just means that you know you are set up for the. Um, IRS has uh, approved inventory listing of items that can be managed through flexible spending accounts and uh, you know health, health savings account cards. Okay. The I think this is the last feature that I'm talking about today as we're getting to minute 26 here. You are you have the capability to set up custom messages that appear on the signature capture device. It can be on that Topaz, either that or on your Ingenico device, which is your credit card uh, machine. Or, as we talked about before, under the um, any Wi-Fi enabled tablet. All right, so you can set up messages that appear on that on that signature capture screen. And it's tied to a particular class number. So that class that you create would have to be assigned to those items that you want this message to appear. So if an item is sold that requires a certain message, it can be a prescription item. It could be an OTC item. It doesn't really matter. Uh, it just needs to be set up in the company tab here. Mes those same messages can also be or a different message can also appear on the receipt itself at checkout. So not only can you have a message on the pad, but you can also have one that the customer takes with them that's uh, printed on the receipt. And this can be enabled for all patients, all customers, for a selected class of items. So that covers the presentation today. And uh, hopefully, if there's been questions, you've uh, been able to get answers. Uh, Chad's probably uh, doing that. So Muted. can uh, actually I can unmute everybody if you have any questions. I'll just go ahead and do that. So if anybody has any questions that they want to uh, ask me, uh, we're all unmuted. So please be cognizant of that. If you are not going to ask questions, please push mute on your phone so we don't hear your background if you're driving down your convertible down the freeway. Um, <laughs> Or, or in the middle of a meeting and you just have this going in the background. But um, any questions? All right. Very good then. We'll go ahead and we'll sign off. Thank you all so much. We do have a, another presentation or another webinar that will be occurring next Tuesday. And uh, I just muted everybody because we're getting a lot of background. Um, so we do have another s webinar series that will be uh, conducted next Tuesday. Stay tuned for that title and the uh, content. We'd love to see you there. Thank you all for your participation. Have a great day. Oh, also, if you could uh, answer the very quick survey that's going to pop up momentarily.